happy vlogmas day 17 that is so many wow pat me in the back we finally got a delivery we've been waiting for for three weeks it was actually three weeks late so let's go unbox that because i'm so eager to open it up and sit on it <laughs> look at this big honker what <laughs> i was not expecting this what uh this is awkward <laughs> i literally got a text today and a call yesterday saying your dining room table chairs are getting delivered tomorrow between this time and that's when this got delivered and it's a huge box oh are you ready for the reveal look at her that's one chair now we have my office chair that's so heavy oh great it's something i have to really put together if you want me to make build this you can start making dinner and while you're making dinner i'll build this we are gonna go to Target and Trader Joe's because we have some things we need to get out of places. We honestly just need like more dinner food because we don't have any, we ran out. So we're gonna do that. So let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. We just chefed up a delicious meal. We have spring rolls, wontons, and fried rice that we like handmade. And this looks delish. Chicken fried rice. We have a little bit of extra. Yeah, a lot. It's all right, it's my lunch for the next Oh my gosh. And we're gonna watch the last episode of Money Heist, so I'm excited. Okay, so if you're new here, I've been obsessed with making fake cakes and I haven't made one yet in this new place. So I was like, let's make a Christmas one. And I think first I'm gonna like go through and like teach you how to do it and then I think I'm gonna make it two. So I'm gonna make another one that I'll probably do like a fun little time lapse. I don't know, it's really therapeutic to watch and I feel like that's why my TikToks do like kind of well of me making them is because it's so like therapeutic. I don't know, it's like the best way to put it. You're gonna start out with like a foam base. I, this is just from Michaels. I have a Lazy Susan, a spinny thing, and then also this, and I just put this on top to make sure that the cake doesn't fall in here because of course, this cake is the perfect size in here, so like I would not be able to get in there, but then I get my handy dandy little kit out. <laughs> then I take this really strong tape and cut off just like a little bit. Then you take the back off and do a little, get that off, a little loop-de-loo. And then put it on the bottom or the top or whatever. Then you stick it on this and this just makes sure that when you're frosting it, this cake doesn't slide all over the place because it's so light. Like normally a cake is heavy so it wouldn't slide all over. But yeah, that tip literally saved my life because before it was the hardest thing ever to frost. So now we use our spackle and you use lightweight spackle. Don't get regular spackle because that'll be so heavy. So for the base of this cake, I'm gonna make it white. So I don't really need to, you know, color that because it's already white. Take this smoothing knife and just get out the amount that you think you'll need. So since I'm just basically covering the cake right now, I think I'll just need like this much. Now it's time to smooth it. And honestly, it's kind of hard because it's not real spackle and it's frosting. So it's kind of hard to get it like perfectly smooth. But honestly, most of the time it gets covered with like decorations. So it's not the biggest deal. And if it's like not exactly smooth, it kind of looks like a real cake, so it's actually fine. I just tell myself that when I get annoyed that it's not smooth enough. <laughs> Now that we have our base done, I'm gonna do a dripping effect, which would normally be like the ganache, but this is made with like a completely different ingredients. What are they? <laughs> First, you're gonna need caulk. This is the brand I use. Uh, 
cock. And then Mod Podge. Then obviously acrylic paint to make it the color you want. I cleaned the bowl out, but I actually never got instructions of how much to do for each. I've been doing half and half of cock and Mod Podge and it seems to have worked the best for me. So I kind of just eyeball it about that much cock. Ooh. Honestly, you need more acrylic paint than you think, so. For me, I like to use a whisk to mix it up just because the cock is kind of like hard to mix, so you kind of have to mix it for a while. So once it's mostly combined, you're ready to put it into a little squeeze bottle. This bottle just makes it a lot easier to do like the dripping sides. Now for the fun part. One tip I have learned is that it drips really slow over time. So always do them shorter than you're gonna want them because they're gonna drip longer over time. So I kind of just go back and forth in a section and then it'll slowly drip down. Ooh, that was way faster. I need to look at it. I'm not a pro yet. Okay, so honestly, I think this looks pretty good. It probably will drip more, even though I think this is like the perfect level right now, but it's whatever. Then I'm gonna just do a final ring around the end to make it look a bit more clean. We're gonna start decorating now. So I'm gonna first put some white into a piping bag and I'm using just a circle, my biggest round tip I have. So this amount should be good for right now. So first I'm gonna go around and kind of do the swirl technique for the top. the space that's like right here and right here so I'm just gonna go in and take the extra red and kind of like add it in there <laughs> the one that I'm like oh, I mess up honestly it looks so much better I have all my sprinkles here I wish I had Christmas sprinkles but I actually don't but I do have these white ones so I think I'm gonna go around and just kind of like put them randomly on the red. Then I'm gonna take this red pearl dust and this little brush and kind of like sprinkle it all over. Hopefully that'll add a cute touch to it. Honestly, I've never done this, so I don't know. Hmm. Well, there's no going back now. Kind of looks like red blood. I mean, it's kind of cute. Also kind of looks like blood. Let's write Merry Christmas. Maybe it'll save it. Now I'm gonna take the same tip and do a border along the bottom. For writing Merry Christmas, I got some white and some green, and the white one has a bigger round tip and the green one has a smaller round tip. I just think this will look a lot better and it'll look more 3D if I do it two times. How adorable. I was almost done, but then I was like, I think this cake needs like a little something else. So I'm gonna add some like little berries around random places. I have a leaf tip and then no tip in this, and that's what I'm gonna use for the berry. This is the cutest freaking cake ever. Sitting on my own I hear the people left But I just check my clock I've never been the best With mingled as small talk And then I hear a crash Behind my back One glass of mold wine Rains down my jacket Then I see you blushing And suddenly it's clear 
when I look at you, Dad. Christmas is here. You tell me, don't you think this place is looking crowded? And then you whisper in my ear, Look, I'm not even sure. Okay, we're done making the cakes. I think they look really good. The only thing is the trees are kind of like falling now. Kind of sucks, but whatever. I just let them sit like that for like 24 hours and then they're good and solid. Now let's take this room up to my chair. Or, let's take that room up to your chair. Let's take this chair up to my room. We are saying goodbye to her because it kind of got wrecked in the move and then also it's just kind of like gross because I had it for so long. I'm putting her here. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, look at it. I think it actually pulls together the space so well. Oh, I just wanna lay down. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm so happy that that chair is here. We actually got our bar stools, so we're gonna set those up tomorrow. Finally, we'll have somewhere to sit while we eat. But I am going to end the vlog here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.